If you are planning a cruise with Norwegian Cruise Line, this video is for you as we have a detailed and updated look at the cruise line's popular promotion, free at sea, and how to save you the most money when taking advantage of this offer up next. Welcome aboard cruisers, I'm Don B from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you plan the perfect cruise so you can see the world one port at a time. Now the wife and I are huge Norwegian Cruise Line fans, and we've sailed on several of the ship's Breakaway and Breakaway Plus Class ships. So we're very familiar with the Norwegian's free at sea promotion. In fact, we made a video a few years ago covering all the details about this program, but the program has recently been changed quite a bit. Plus, there's a brand new free at sea plus promotional offer. So we've created this updated video giving you all the details about the new free at sea and helping you decide if it's worth upgrading to the free at sea plus promotion. So let's dive in. Now, if you're completely new to Norwegian Cruise Line and not familiar with the free at sea program, this promotion entitles guests to free perks like drink packages, specialty dining, Wi-Fi, kids sale free, and more. The number of perks that cruisers receive does vary based on the current sale and the stateroom category booked, but usually guests can get up to five free perks with the sale. Occasionally, there are up to six perks if airfare is part of the current promotion. For example, NCL's Free at Sea previously offered guests who booked a studio, inside, ocean view, balcony, or a club balcony suite rooms the ability to choose two free perks. Guests who booked suites in a haven received all five free perks. Although recently, guests booking most cabin categories can receive all five free perks. Now to us, that's a really good deal. When you opt for this package, it offers a more inclusive experience. And guests will know the majority of their cruise costs up front and not have to worry about the bill at the end of the cruise. Of course, it's important to read the fine print at the time of your booking as the terms of the promotion can change. For instance, some categories like a studio or an inside cabin may only qualify for one perk at certain times. Further, make sure to read the fare that you're purchasing, as Norwegian Cruise Line usually offers sail away rates, which are similar to a guaranteed cabin. These rates are often excluded from the free at sea promotion. All the perks include this offer have no monetary value. Thus, if you opt to decline any of the entitled perks, which you can, you will not receive a refund, nor can you get onboard credit or gift it to someone else. Further, it can vary as how many guests in the stateroom receive each perk. For instance, NCL's Free at Sea provides drink packages to all guests, but dining packages only to the first two guests on the reservation. This promotion can be combined with other offers being run by the cruise line, like two-for-one deposits. It can also be combined with travel agent offers, like extra perks or onboard credit. This is one of the easiest ways to save money when booking a Norwegian Cruise Line cruise. You must select your free at sea choices at least 24 hours prior to sailing. Further, it's important to know that both the first and second guests in the stateroom need to pick the same perks. NCL's free at sea, only available on cruises that are three days or longer and not applicable to charter dates. Government taxes, port expenses and fees, discretionary onboard service charges, or gratuities are also additional. For those sailing in Alaska, do know that this promotion is not applicable to the land portion of cruise tours. So now that you have a general sense of what the Norwegian Cruise Line Free at Sea promotion looks like, let's take a deeper look at the perks involved in the Free at Sea. The most popular of the Norwegian Free at Sea perks is the unlimited open bar package, for obvious reasons. This perk entitles guests one through eight on the reservation, a Norwegian Cruise Line premium beverage package. There is an additional 20% gratuity that's added to this free beverage package, and the cruiser will be responsible for paying that 20% fee. And the 20% service charge is based on the retail value of the drink package. If you have guests under 21 sailing with you, those guests will get the soda package as a substitution, only if they're the first or second guest on the reservation. However, guests three through eight that are under 21 years old will not receive a soda package as a substitution. Essentially, they don't get any drink package. The retail value of the unlimited open bar package is $109 per person per day, whereas the retail value of the soda package is only 
$7.95 per person per day. Guests can upgrade from the open bar package, which is the premium drink package, to the premium plus drink package for $29 a person per day. Now, later on, we'll break down whether upgrading makes sense for you based on what's included in both drink packages and your own drinking habits. Now, the NCL free drink package, which is part of the free at sea promotion, includes the following beverages. Select premium cocktails and spirits that are under $15, a variety of beer and wine by the glass, which are also under $15, 20% off all bottles of champagne and bottles of wine, and unlimited soft drinks and juices. This free drink package is good at all bars, lounges, restaurants, and the private island of Great Stirrup Key, although it does not work at Norwegian Cruise Line's private island of Harvest Key, Belize. On any beverage items that are over $15 per serving, guests will receive a $15 discount, and then you need to pay the difference, plus the 20% gratuity. Guests are entitled to two beverages per person per transaction. The premium beverage package does not include room service or ship specific promotions or buckets of beer. The package also doesn't include designated super premium brands, bottle wine or liquor or mini bar purchases. Now, if you want to know what brands are actually included, you can check at the description as we have a link to NCL's website where they list all of the included brands. The drink package does not include any wine or spirit experiences on the ships, tastings or flights, and for us, unfortunately, it doesn't include Starbucks, the ice bars, and wine stations found on some NCL ships. Unlike most other cruise lines, premium non-alcoholic drinks are not part of this free at sea drink package. So guests will need to pay extra for items like bottled water, fresh squeezed juices, specialty coffee, and energy drinks. However, guests do get that 20% discount on such things as bottles of wine, wine and spirit experiences, and tastings or flights purchased on board the ship. The Hawaii beverage package is applicable to Pride of America sailings only for guests one through eight on the reservation. This package includes a variety of beverages up to $15. It also includes fountain soda, freshly squeezed juice, bottled water, flat and sparkling, non-alcoholic beer, and specialty coffees, but in the dining room only. The package does not include specialty coffees outside of the restaurant, room service, mini bar purchases, or vending machines. The retail value of the Hawaii beverage package is $109 per person per day. And like the traditional free at open bar perk, guests sailing in Hawaii need to pay the 20% gratuity on this free perk. Now, if you're thinking about upgrading to the premium plus beverage package, you can enjoy all the previous inclusions plus a variety of upgraded beverages. The premium plus beverage package includes all top shelf cocktails and spirits, all beer, champagne, and wine by the glass, Select premium bottles of champagne and wine with dinner, and then 40% off all other bottles, unlimited soft drinks and juices, unlimited still and sparkling bottled water, and all Starbucks coffees and specialty drinks. Norwegian Cruise Line is known for its freestyle approach to dining. This means no set dinner times, no table arrangements, or main dining rooms. Instead, the Cruise Line offers a variety of dining options. While there are several complimentary options, Many of the dining venues do charge an additional fee. Luckily, there's a Norwegian Cruise Line specialty dining package. This package entitles users to dine at many of the four fee restaurants on any NCL ship for one set price. More importantly, this specialty dining package is commonly one of the NCL's free at sea perks. The specialty dining package perk is only applicable to the first two guests on the reservation. At the Cruise Line Signature Cagney Steakhouse and La Bistro, you can order as many starters, sides, and desserts as you want. However, you can only order one entree. You'll need to pay a la carte pricing for any additional entrees. The specialty dining package for meals in Food Republic, the Tapas Bar, and Wasabi include four menu items per person. Room service, Starbucks, the Bake Shop, Coco's, Dolce Gelato, the Jazz Brunch, or a wine lover's and murder mystery lunch are not part of the specialty dining package. Beverages are also not included. Additionally, cruisers can use a specialty dining meal credit for entertainment-based restaurants for an additional surcharge, like the Cirque Dreams. However, if you wish to use a meal credit, you'll need to wait until you're on board the ship to actually book. Of course, even if you receive the package as part of the free at sea promotion, you can always purchase an additional special dining package for extra meals. 
prior to your sale date, you may receive promotional offers to upgrade your dining package with additional meals at a discounted price. In early 2022, the perk had been updated, or actually, should I say, rather downgraded. Now, the number of meals is based on the length of the cruise and the stateroom category you booked. Previously, all guests used to receive one free meal for cruises that were three to five nights long, and two free meals for cruises that were six to eight nights long. Cruises that were nine to 10 days long qualified for three free meals. I'm sure you're starting to see the pattern here, with cruises that were 11 to 14 days long being four meals, and cruises 15 days long or longer getting five free meals. Now, all guests receive the following. Cruises from three to six nights get one free meal regardless of the cabin category. On cruises that are seven to 11 nights, cruisers staying in balcony or above will receive two free meals. But cruisers who only stay in a studio inside our ocean on cruises that are seven to 11 nights long will receive one free meal. Likewise, on cruises that are 12 nights or longer, guests staying in a balcony or above will get three meals while guests staying in studios, insides, or ocean views will only get two meals. Similar to the quote unquote free drink package, all guests must pay the 20% gratuity on the retail value of the specialty dining package prior to their cruise. Cruisers can use the specialty dining package at most specialty venues. These include the American Diner, Cagney's, Food Republic, La Cucina, Onda by Scarpetta, La Bistro, Los Lobos, Mordano, Ocean Blue, Q Texas Smokehouse, and Teppanyaki, plus several others. Another common perk of Norwegian's free at sea promotion is free shore excursions. If you're new to cruising, you may not know the lingo, but the term shore excursion can refer to any number of different activities that occur at each port of call. Cruise shore excursions occur off the ship and are completed during the hours you're docked at the port. Shore excursions give cruisers the opportunity to maximize their time ashore while eliminating some of the legwork of planning or just winging it and doing your own thing. These tours are usually designed to highlight the best attractions that the area has to offer. NCL's Free at Sea Free Shore Excursions qualifies the first guest only on the reservation for a credit of $50 per port. Guests can use this credit to purchase any tour offered by the cruise line. If the tour is less than $50, there is no refund the tour is more than $50, which honestly, it most likely will be, the guests will be responsible to pay the difference. Latitude member discounts are combinable with this perk, though the $50 shore excursion credit does not apply to equipment rentals in Great Serb Key or Harvest Key, the cruise line's private islands. Pre-cruise and post-cruise land tours are not eligible for this promotion either. Obviously, the retail value of this perk will be based on the number of ports of call scheduled for your itinerary. But if you're taking a seven day cruise, you're probably gonna visit three to four ports, so it'd be around $150 to $200. Another one of Norwegian's free at sea perks is free Wi Fi. Although this perk also changed in early 2022. Similar to the specialty dining package, this perk is based on the length of your cruise. While Norwegian Cruise Line does offer an unlimited internet package, guests only receive a certain number of minutes with the free at sea promotion. Guests receive 75 minutes per person for a three to six day cruise, 150 minutes per person for a seven to 11 day cruise, and then 300 minutes per person for cruises that are 12 days or longer. Although these minutes are per person and not per stateroom, which is an improvement from the past, bookings will receive two logins per stateroom. Of note, internet packages are not available on Great Syrup Key or Harvest Key. Further, these minutes can only be used on one device at a time. It is important to know that while cruise ship internet is getting faster, it may never be as reliable as your internet back home. Cruise ship internet depends on satellite connections and geographical location. The ship's distance offshore, as well as interference from landscapes and weather, can all cause variable cruise ship internet speeds. Now, based on our experience, you should be able to use these minutes for basic tasks like checking email and posting on social media. However, you shouldn't plan on using these minutes for streaming purposes. Like the previous perks, you can always upgrade your Wi-Fi package. Cruisers often receive promotions to upgrade at a discounted rate prior to the cruise. The standard price for the unlimited Wi-Fi package is $25.50 for one device. If you want to stream, the unlimited Wi-Fi with streaming package starts at $34.99 for one device. 
There are also two device and four device packages available at reduced rates. Often, Norwegian Cruise Lines Free at Sea includes free third and fourth guests in the stateroom. This promotion is also sometimes called Kids Sail Free. And as the name implies, this offer is valid for guests three and four sharing a stateroom with the first two guests paying a full cruise fare. This offer is only applicable on select sailings, thus popular times of year like school breaks and holidays are usually not part of the promotion. If there are guests five through eight in a reservation, those guests will pay prevailing fares. Now keep in mind, while the cruise fares might be free with this promotion, guests will need to pay the taxes and related port fees for guests three and four when taking advantage of this promotion. Sometimes Norwegian Cruise Line even offers free airfare for the second guests. Now this offer is only valid on seven plus night sailings. With this perk, the second guest on the reservation flies for free when buying airfare for the first guest. The offer is not applicable to guests three through eight on a reservation. Generally, guests must make the reservation more than 75 days prior to sailing to qualify. Further, this air offer applies to economy round trip flights from select departure gateways only. Guests traveling solo will receive 50% off Norwegian Cruise Line's promotional airfare pricing each way. Airline imposed personal charges, such as baggage fees, are not included and are paid directly to the airline. Now with this perk, there's a number of additional terms and conditions, but don't worry, in the description down below, we have a link to our complete guide to Norwegian Cruise Lines Free at Sea back on the blog, where we detail all the additional things you need to know about the free airfare for a second guest. Now, unlike some cruise lines who offer all included or have it all packages, Norwegian's Free at Sea does not include gratuities. And Norwegian Cruise Line has some of the highest gratuities in the industry. Currently, NCL rates for gratuities are $25 per person per day for guests staying in the Haven and Suites, and $20 per person per day for all other staterooms, club balcony suites, and below. Now, if you booked your cruise before January 1st of 2023 and prepay your gratuities before the sale date, you can get them at a reduced rate. That reduced rate includes $20 per person per day for the Haven and Suites. $18 per person per day for club balcony suites, and $16 per person per day for all other stateroom types. Now, of course, throughout this video, we've mentioned several times that cruisers need to pay the gratuity on top of some of these free perks, which really means some of these perks are not truly free, while others are. For instance, the free open bar, you need to pay that 20% surcharge. So for a typical seven day cruise, each guest will need to pay $152.60 for their premium beverage package. The Soto package would have a week-long price of $11.13. This gratuity is added to the total cost of the cruise fare at the time of booking. While for us this is still a great value, it's still a considerable amount to pay for a free perk. Thus, you can choose to opt out of the drink package if you're offered all five perks. If offered only two perks, you can choose two alternatives instead. This is especially applicable to guests who do not drink alcoholic beverages. Further, if you enjoy specialty coffee or want bottled water, you'll have to pay extra to upgrade to the Premium Plus beverage package. Likewise, guests need to pay gratuity on the specialty dining package as well. For cruisers staying in a balcony or above and getting those two free meals on a seven night cruise, that gratuity is $17.80 per package. This of course does not include any additional tips that you would like to provide to your wait staff Likewise, in terms of the free shore excursion, the $50 credit per stateroom will not cover much, so you'll likely need to pay extra to cover the cost of shore excursion. Of course, if you plan on booking shore excursions anyway, this is essentially free money. Although, if you're booking them just to utilize the credit, it will likely cost you extra. When taking advantage of friends and family sell free perk, you will still need to pay the government fees, taxes, and port expenses for all the sale free guests. These fees vary based on the itinerary, but will likely cost you $200 plus each guest. Another thing to consider is that cheaper room categories often qualify for less perks, but they are cheaper. If you're paying more money for a higher room category just to score the free perks, you'll need to determine if it's worth it for you to upgrade. Of course, one of the most frequently asked questions we get is which NCL's free at sea perk should I pick? Now recently, Norwegian Cruise Line has been offering all four or all five free perks as a promotion since the cruise restart. 
but historically that has not been the case. So if the current promotion is only offering a few perks, you'll need to decide which ones to choose. Now, before you do so, let's review the retail values of each perk based on a typical seven day cruise. The open bar has a retail value of $763 per person. This is before the 20% gratuity. Likewise, a specialty dinner for two individuals, again in a balcony or above, has a retail value of $89 per person. The Shore Excursions Credit has a retail value of $50 per person per port, again around $150 to $200 for a typical seven night cruise. And the 150 minutes with two logins per stateroom has a retail value of $125. So based solely on the retail value, choosing the free open bar is a no brainer for most. It will save you the most money on your cruise, but again, only if you drink alcoholic beverages. Now you don't have to drink $763 worth to make this package worth it for you. Because remember, you are paying the gratuities. Thus, if you don't think you'll drink at least $150 of alcohol over the week, which is approximately two to three drinks a day, then you probably shouldn't opt for this perk. Or again, if you're given all the perks, you can just decline it and then pay a la carte for your drinks once on board. If you're sailing with a family, the third and fourth guest sail free isn't another obvious choice. This perk will easily save you hundreds of dollars as well. The other three perks are much closer in value. So it really comes down to your preferences. We usually opt for the specialty dining as we really do enjoy NCL specialty restaurants. But honestly, the internet is rather slow, especially when compared to other major cruise lines. So we'll likely eat up those minutes pretty quickly. If you do want or need internet during your cruise, we just recommend purchasing an unlimited package. If you plan on booking shore excursions in multiple ports, this perk might be a good value. Although if you're like us and you plan to stay on the ship at some ports or have a lot of sea days in your itinerary, this might not be the best option to choose. Also remember, you don't need to book your shore excursions through the cruise line. You could wander the port on your own or purchase cheaper and often more authentic experiences through local tour providers or other third-party retailers. If given two free perks, we always pick the drink package and the specialty dining package. But of course, if you time things right with a promotion that offers all of the perks for a balcony stateroom, that's an even better deal. Now this year, Norwegian Cruise Line rolled out its Free at Sea Plus program. This package is an upgrade from the promotional free at sea package. Guests can upgrade their free perks to a more premium level for $49 per person per day. This new free at sea plus package includes the premium plus beverage package for guests one and two, two additional specialty dining meals for guests one and two, an additional $50 shore excursions credit for the second guest on the booking, and the unlimited Wi-Fi package for guests one and two, but the typical unlimited Wi-Fi, not the streaming package, unfortunately. If the second guest on the reservation is a child or you're cruising solo, again, we'll refer you to our blog post, which has more details about how the free at C plus package works in those instances. If the second guest is under 21, the upgrade is cheaper at $29 per person per day. It's also cheaper for solo travelers to upgrade at $42 per person per day. Further, if you want streaming Wi-Fi, you can upgrade the free at C plus Wi-Fi streaming for $10 per person per day. Like the typical free at C promotion, there are some terms and conditions. Package is only available on sailings that are three nights or longer, and it is applicable fleet wide, except on those pride of America sailings. So with this new perk, it comes down to whether it's worth it or not to upgrade. Should you upgrade from that Air Fringers quote free, free at sea promotion to the new free at sea plus package. Once again, though, this is an individual decision. Basically, you'll need to decide whether you would spend more than $49 per person per day on these extra perks. So if we're starting just with that additional shore excursion credit, you know, it'll be worth about $50 only for port days. So again, an additional $150 to $200, depending on your itinerary. When looking at the two additional specialty dinners alone, it wouldn't be worth upgrading either. That package is worth $99, because again, it actually includes the 20% gratuity, which is less than $15 per person per day. Not to mention, you can often score a dining package upgrade on the free at sea promotion at a discount rate. In terms of Wi-Fi, the unlimited Wi-Fi in the free at sea plus program 
is $25.50 per day to purchase. If you just want to upgrade to the Premium Plus Beverage Package, that will only cost you an additional $29 per person per day. So generally speaking, if you plan to upgrade the drink package and will utilize at least one other perk, then the free at C Plus is probably worth it for you. If you're interested in two perks, but one of them is not the drink package, honestly, it's probably not worth upgrading. Likewise, if you're only really interested in one perk, then you should just pay for that perk out of pocket and save yourself some money. For us, we enjoy the added benefits of the Premium Plus drink package, like Starbucks and bottled water. We also enjoy the NCL specialty restaurants, and we would probably upgrade our Wi-Fi package anyway. Thus, the free at C Plus makes complete sense for us and would help us save money on our Norwegian Cruise Line cruise. And now that you know everything about Norwegian Cruise Line's free at sea and the free at sea plus program, it's time to start planning. If you're not sure which Norwegian Cruise Line ship to choose, we highly suggest you check out our review for Norwegian Cruise Line's newest ship, Norwegian Prima. In that review, we cover everything from the dining to the entertainment, onboard activities, staterooms, and more. We cover every square inch of Norwegian Prima to help you decide if that ship's right for your next cruise vacation.